Logan. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do the scarecrow sunflower. Let me find the picture and show it to everybody. I know, you can tell her how I say, hi Judy, hi, you, they can't even hear you. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do a look, something similar to this, scarecrow with a big sunflower eye. I'm going to attempt it anyway. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is spray Katie's face with Lime Life uh, First Base Primer. And then we're going to use a glue stick and try to hide her eyebrow. So we're going to start with glue. Because on this scarecrow, hey Judy, you can see her eyebrow on this side is kind of hidden. So the way to do that, you've got to start off with a glue stick. And then on top of that, we'll put some translucent powder. And then we'll put concealer. Some liquid concealer. Okay. All right, we're gonna let that dry for just a minute. And then after it dries, then we'll put some more powder on there. Alright, so um, while that's drying, I'm going to get some uh, concealer. This is Lime Life by Alcone um, concealer I'm going to use on her eyelid. And that's going to get it all set up and ready for some color. We'll go ahead and put some down through here too. Hey, look who's watching. Who's just watching? I'm going to cover this whole area with this Lime Life Concealer because it is waterproof and it is really going to make all the colors pop. <laughs> Still kind of I guess some of that one. Huh? I guess I'm that one. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> Alrighty. 
Alright, I'm going to go in with this Morphe 35M as a Mary palette. And um, just go ahead and put a little bit of this color on right here. Um, it is Play It Cool. Whoops, I just put my brush in the wrong one. Alright, and then we're going to go back on top of that with some, what color is this, electric energy from that same palette. Okay, and then we're going to go around all of that with some black. It's called Black Magic. I'm going to use that same palette again. Okay, um, and then we're good. Just want to get all this really dark up under here. Okay. And then we're going to go in with some, let's see, gold glitter for the eyelid. And we're going to use this uh, Miskos palette. Look at this glitter, it's so pretty. I'm going to 
gonna take a little bit of where's that? This is a little bit of stuff that helps to keep the glitter on. It's clear. Glitter glue. So I'm gonna go over top of this. Trying to make sure that stays. Say hi! Look, wave. Emmy, wave. Wave! Say hi! Don't okay. mind. Don't say bye. Don't mind. <laughs> Don't mind. Yeah, Dylan is watching Emmy right now. We're Don't attempting mind. to anyway. Say bye. Okay. Nice. Just keep your eyes shut. I'm going to throw ball. Okay. Oh, it's so pretty. Alright, now, like, when I change colors, I use this thing if I'm using the same brush. Um, it's um, Beauty Concepts called Blank Slate. And if you use that in between, um, this is, is a great thing to just, you know, take all that color off. So you're not having to use a different brush or actually clean clean the brush um so the next thing we're going to do is start drawing the petals and i am going to use this nyx vivid brights liquid eyeliner in yellow actually let's see let me get a little bit more translucent powder on this Maybe just a fuzz more concealer. I just want to kind of make sure this part disappears. And anytime you add a layer of concealer or glue stick, you want to go back over top of each layer with some translucent powder to make it stay. And just set it all. Okay, so her eyebrows pretty much, pretty much gone. Okay. Speak pedal. And these don't have to be perfect because we're going to go back and tweak everything too. This is just kind of sort of setting it up. If y'all are watching live, please put a 1 in the comments, and if you're watching the replay, put a 2, just so I can keep up with who's watching when and how many people watch the replay. Okay, just 
excited a little bit. Alrighty, so we've got the main large part of the flower, and then we're going to go back in between and put some other flowers, but before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and put some color in the big petals, and I'm going to go in with this um, NYX Vivid Brights Orange, it's called Cyber Pop, and we're going to color in this part with orange and it's going to go kind of from orange to yellow so we're going to use some of this because it's nice and bright and let me let me grab some of our um, our dew drop oil real quick it helps this stuff work a whole lot better and it makes it more liquidy more user friendly so let me grab that So I got the due date. I think I said due drop a minute ago. I meant due date if I did. I don't know why I always say that. Um, but this is an, um, an oil you can use on your face as a moisturizer. It's really, really nice. Um, but it also works great with other products. You can use it to turn blush into eyeshadow or eyeshadow into a lip gloss. And y'all had voted in the poll for, well, it's still going, but it's like 80, like 80% 80 everybody wants the, the frozen princess look or whatever it was called. We're still going to do that, but I'm waiting on something I ordered that I think will help out with the look. So hopefully this weekend I'll get to do that one, maybe before.
to really cover these eyebrows. This love is orange, it's so pretty. Hey Sarah. Hey, if y'all wanna see some good Halloween looks, y'all need to check out Sarah Fugit on Facebook because this girl she does she doesn't just do like makeup stuff she does like the whole all-out thing she does some crazy cool stuff with like different crazy like effects and everything she also, she's, she draws, she draws people's tattoos. She's a great artist. She has so many different talents. Turn you to say just a little bit. So now I'm going to actually use that, that same eyeliner to fill in these petals with. And then when all this gets dry, we'll go back and like blend everything together really good with the orange and the yellow. And we're going to go back and outline the petals and everything too. But like I said, I'm going to let this kind of dry and then go back and blend the orange and the yellow. Hey, if y'all are just getting on here, um, if you don't care to put a one in the comments, so I know you're watching live, or if you are watching a replay, put a two so I can keep up with that.
we are doing a scarecrow look with a big sunflower on Katie. We've got a lot of blending to do and a lot of touch-ups, but we're getting the basic um, basic part of it down right now. Put my finger over here and it's hard to... I just want to see how this is going to blend right here. First, I need to wet it some more. with the eyeliner it's blending a whole lot better when it's still wet so we'll go a little bit back up in here and we'll go get some more orange to fix that uh -huh. Your dad. Oh, hi. I don't think he can hear you. Allergies. Is that your Ava? Oh, he's 
Did you? <laughs> oh. Thanks, Kelly. No. Oh, they're doing the tutorial. Oh my god, it's live. It's yeah, we're on Facebook. Big ass now. <clears throat> Ava, you know, let's shut the door and let them do the tutorial, okay? All right. When they get done, she'll do something on your face, but a butterfly or whatever. Hush, I'm doing something. of this um, Maybelline Lemonade Craze palette. sunflower we're gonna put a little bit of glitter on it too just to make it a little bit different than what everybody else has been doing um, other people that have done this look shouldn't have let that dry up there oh well it's still pretty Okay. Oh, I know. Katie is the quietest kid on the planet. Like, my daughter, I don't know if you saw the Annabelle thing that I did about, I don't know, a week ago or so. The whole time she was talking. Never shuts up. try something y'all that I wasn't planning on but I just thought about it I want to see what this looks like this is like little pieces of gold leaf I was gonna do glitter, but I was thinking, what if I did this and some glitter too? So let's see what the gold leaf looks like. No, I don't like it. We're going with glitter. Never used it, but I'd see what it look like. Okay, so I'm 
to go back into that same Miskos palette with all the glitter. Oh, you saw Annabelle. Wasn't that fun? That's what she actually wants to be for Halloween. So, we figured we'd do a test run. And she's going to be a scarecrow for Halloween, so... Nobody can hear you. I am gonna be, um, shoot, what's it called? Athena? Is that right? It's a Greek goddess. What did you learn about, about them? Just their names and what they do. What did Athena do? What was she the goddess of? You don't know? Well, tell me which ones you learned about. What did you... Learn about Poseidon and Zeus. Poseidon? What was he the god of? The sea. What about Zeus? He was the god of all gods. The god of all gods? Who else? That's all I remember. That's all you remember? Hey, you're doing a great job, teachers at Vance Creek Middle School. <laughs> Katie remembers a whole two of them. Well, I looked up who, no, it's not, it's Aphrodite, that's her name, that's who I'm going to be, Aphrodite. Did you, do you remember reading about that one? I think Athena was like the goddess of war. Yeah, I'm Aphrodite though. She's supposed to be like the god of, yeah, the goddess of love. The goddess of love. And she was married to some guy, I can't remember his name, it's like... Started with the H. Dylan doesn't want to be that. He doesn't want to be anything I've picked out. I've picked out like 30 different things, I swear. None of them are good enough. What do you think he should be? I think he should be... I think he should be a tomato. A tomato? Hey, does anybody know where to get a uh, tomato outfit? Katie thinks Dylan needs to be a tomato. Oh, my, thank you. My baby, um, I don't know. Um, her, um, her Aunt Paja and her mom Kim, they take her and do stuff all the time, like with little outfits and things. They're making a calendar for next year that um, one of their dogs, his name is Melvin, he's a rescue dog, and they are doing a calendar with Melvin for 2019. And um, um, Emmy's gonna be featured in two months of that. And, uh, Kim has got her so many little outfits. So, she has plenty to pick from as far as Athena. Oh, yeah, Judy, I'm not Athena, I'm Aphrodite. I finally thought about it. Um, but she has, Emmy has so many outfits, it's ridiculous, like, to pick from that she could be for Halloween. So... One of them is a little Indian girl, and I just think she's so freaking cute in that because she's like the whitest little Indian you've ever seen. I was an Indian last year. And I just think it's cute. But, um, so she might be an Indian, but she could also be, let's see, Cruella DeVille, uh, Supergirl, 
Um, the cowgirl cow from uh, Toy Story. Toy Story. Um, what else? I think there's a Batgirl costume. Yeah, okay, Paige, what other outfits does she have? <laughs> so we're not sure what she's going to be for Halloween, but she's got plenty to pick from. Kind of ridiculous. Okay, so I'm going to go back in and do the flowers, the little petals in between. And I'm just going to make them completely yellow, I think, because they're just the tips of them, you know. Yeah, she has a lot of options. 20 options. Oh, Cruella, Judy hasn't fixed it yet. She can't wear that Cruella one. Scary Cruella. Y'all are gonna be twins. Katie and Paige are gonna be twins. The yellow, it's NYX Vivid Brights, and I got it at Ulta. Hey, Kelly, have you tried this? Have you tried to do the scarecrow thing? Because I swear I feel like everybody's doing this, but she's wanted me to do it for like two weeks and I just haven't got the opportunity. I'm so thirsty. I feel like it's really hot in here. Do you think it's hot? Mm That was the first one you did. Hey, if y'all are just hopping on, if you don't care to put a one in the comments if you're watching live, and two if you are watching the replay. Well, we are hiding out in my hallway bathroom away from everybody. Dylan, seriously. 
but we're remodeling our bathroom, so if you see this lovely mess in the back, yeah. That's not blood, by the way. We're not finished. It's not blood. No, that's not blood in my shower. I didn't kill someone. That's some waterproofing stuff that we had to put over top of the um, sheetrock back there. So what is everybody else going to be for Halloween that's dressing up? Lauren going to be. Yes, I'm Aphrodite. <laughs> and I looked up um, her husband and his name started with an H. He was the god of like like carpentry and blacksmith stuff and maybe craftsmanship. I think that's what it probably had enlisted, but Dylan doesn't want to do that. He also doesn't want to be a werewolf or Ghostbusters or a police guy or an army guy or an army guy. Um, just about anything you can think of. He doesn't want to be anything. I mean, I literally, because he wasn't at the he wasn't at the store with me when I went looking at stuff, and I sent him text messages, pictures of like. Almost everything in the store. And he didn't like anything. He's so picky. So I'm just adding a little bit of white eyeliner. Just right in here. Just kind of like for a little bit more dimension and like highlight. I think it looks pretty. Right in the middle of all these flowers. And this is also, well no, this is a L'Oreal Infallible Paints Liquid Eyeliner in what? Vicky, I've not seen you in forever. Okay, and I'm gonna go back and actually use a brown. On these flower petals. A pregnant prostitute, OMG. That's hilarious. I 
I like to do funny stuff and scary stuff usually. <laughs> oh yeah, um, I think Kim got an outfit, a Cruella outfit, and it's like size four to six or something. And Paige just said, oh, it's okay, Judy can fix it. But I have no idea when they're taking pictures like that or what they're taking pictures of or why they're doing it. So, don't think of anything that's pressing. I think the pregnant prostitute's hilarious, though. And they were gonna um, paint spots on Melvin to make him look like a Dalmatian. Oh, crap. That is way too thick. I don't like this liner. Just randomly wants to put big blobs. What is this? Wet and Wild Mega Liner. Do not like this. He's not gonna dress up this year. I guess he's gonna go out on top. Wait, like everybody will always talk about that costume. We did, um, zombies I want to say three years ago and I was a zombie bride with a wedding dress and Dylan was a zombie and they it looked really good we did a really good job on that we used all kinds of um, like the liquid latex and did all kinds of stuff like that and the last year I was like a ghoul, like a ghost, and I had um, a gunshot wound on my chest, and it looked really good. We used the uh, the blood that like gels up, and it just like a looked like a big blood clot where I'd been shot, and then a little bit of blood dripping down from it. I really wanted a brown liquid liner for this instead of black, and I just, I'm not happy with this. It's like the worst eyeliner I've ever used.
which I mean my favorite is the Lime Loft Perfect Eyeliner pen, but I didn't want to go with that black. I wanted to try brown. But you really can't tell. get done we'll take some pictures and I'll um, also make a list of all the products that were used. So there is that. And then, hey Amy. Say hi, Amy. What's up? <laughs> Katie's her normal quiet self. put on a wispy lash. Have you ever had these on before? You have fake lashes, haven't you? No. All you have to do is shut your eye and just stick it right on there. Seriously. Yeah, come on. All you do is shut your eye and I stick it on your eyelid. That's it. Sydney let me do it. You know what a baby she is. Are you afraid it's going to hurt? No. Are you afraid it's going to get in your eye? Well, then why don't you want it? I thought you said, did you? Like, have you ever done it? Oh. I got glue on this. I'm letting it dry a little bit so it gets sticky. Oh, whenever I put that on Sydney, yeah, she's such a baby. All right, check it out. Okay, just leave your eyes shut for a minute, okay? Your eyes 
brush it and I'll do a little bit more of this yellow. Judy said you're gonna like it. You're gonna love the eyelashes. Okay, just wanted to add a little bit of yellow glitter instead of just the gold on the ends. Okay. Alright, you can open. Okay, so there is the main eye. Uh, now let's do the other one. Those lashes. Pretty. Okay, we're going to do the other eyelid. And it's just going to be gold with black around it. onto her mouth. Thank you. This is not So we're going in with some Lime Life Concealer. For a base. Look up. translucent powder on that and then we're gonna go back into that Morphe 35M is in Mary palette and use just a little bit of this color Okay, and we're going to put a little bit of this gold on here. Hey Brooke, <laughs> this is looking nothing like yours girl, but we're trying.
I think I'm a lot better at the scary looks. Okay, so we're gonna go to that Miss Ghost palette and use this gold. Okay, thank you. And I'm going to put a little bit of that glue adhesive gel on top of that real quick too so it doesn't go anywhere. And then we're going to go back in with that Morphe palette and put some black on there. This way, all the way, like this way. Can you turn this way? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I can get to your eye. Now, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and put the other eyelash on. I keep losing everything with my eyelash glue. This is it. All right, we're gonna let this eyelash glue get tacky before we put that on. And while that is setting up, let's see. I need to grab some red lipstick real quick and some green.
right, so we're going to put some red lipstick on real quick. Let's see, let's put this on the shot. Pretty, pretty, pretty. All right, that I'm using the Stila. Um, it's called Beso. Tastes like chocolate. Tastes like chocolate. So you know, you get hungry. And then we're gonna go in with some black liner. Fix your little stitch things. Turn your head this way. I just cannot. Sorry, that was still attached. Okay. Now, let's see. Open your lips. Okay, shut up. Can't really see that. Bring it out a little bit further. Okay. in the kitchen. Alrighty, so there's her lips. Her mouth. And then, do you want the little thing on your nose or no? This is what
Let's put a little bit of these little leaves right here. This little leaf like right here. So we're doing a leaf and I'm using hard candy kryptonite. So there's that and then we're going to go in with some green eyeshadow. And honestly, I'm not sure what this is. It's a just some green pigment that I had in a little container. I don't know where it came from or anything. Take that white liquid liner and go over this green. Let's do one up here. There it is. Alright, so we're going to do, we've got one leaf over here, we're going to do one up here. back with this green pigment. I swear every time I set something down it disappears. Liner real quick. Right. And I like 
actually going to take it black and go over that. Sort of inside of it. I keep grabbing the wrong eyeliner pen. That's not my good one. Here we go. So there is all that, and the last thing we're going to do is spray everything with Lime Life Oil Strike uh, Makeup Finish Spray. This is a 16 hour setting spray, and it should keep everything in place. Sure, sure. Sunflower Scarecrow. I'm going to hit that way just a little bit so I can see. Alright you guys, we are going to put some pictures on Facebook here in just a few minutes and list all the products. Thank you guys for watching. If you thought it was good, throw up some hearts and feel free to share. Thanks.